my YouTube friends, reaction content is all over the social medias these days on YouTube and TikTok and pretty much anywhere else you're going to find videos. Today, I'm going to show you how to create reaction content using OBS for either recorded or live streaming. It's really easy, so you know what? Let's get to it! Now there's a couple of plugins I'm gonna show in this video. There are links in the description down below so you can download them. They're all totally free. Check them out for yourself. Let's not waste any time. We're gonna jump right in and set up our reaction live stream. The first thing we're gonna do is set up our new streams streaming stuff. And to do that, we're gonna create a new profile because I'm not gonna assume that you don't already stream to other places. So we're gonna go into profile, we're gonna go new, we're gonna call this react, and we wanna show the auto configuration wizard because it's the easiest way to set things up. We'll click okay. If you're doing this to set up a stream, then you want the top one. If you're doing this so that you can record reaction stuff to release it later you can select this one for this particular case we'll go with streaming we're going to click next we want 1920 by 1080 either 60 or 30 when possible we're going to click next now we want to select where we're going to stream i'm going to go to youtube and you can connect to the account all that stuff that's fine if you want to i'm just going to go ahead and slap a stream key in here and then i'm going to go ahead and click next it's going to test our live stream to see what we can actually do we're all set okay so what do we have here uh our backup server youtube service perfect multi-track video no perfect video bit rate 10,000 little on the strong side I'll get into that in a second our hardware encoder is using Envic perfect high quality 1080 1080 and 60 frames per second which is a little high for me so I'm gonna go ahead and apply these settings and then I'm gonna go into settings and I'm gonna fix some things that I don't like we're gonna go into output we're gonna go down here and go to advanced for some reason it puts us in x264 we're gonna select our video encoder there we go and I don't think it's necessary to stream in 10,000 kilobits per second if I'm gonna be multi streaming I've gone as low as four without any problems in this case I'm just gonna go with six kilobits per second everything else there looks perfect if you are multi-streaming you're going to want to change this to two as well so if you're multi-streaming you can go as low as four and set the keyframes to two and you should be okay then i'm going to go down here to video and i will not be streaming in 60 frames per second because I'm going to be doing reaction content. So I could drop this and set it to 30. Now, if the content you're going to be reacting to is super fast paced and you want that 60 frame per second look, leave it there. That's perfectly fine. You can still do 6,000 kilobits per second at 60 frames per second. If you were to go to 4,000 kilobits per second, then I would say you definitely want to drop it to 30 frames per second. But now our settings are complete. We have everything we need all set up. All we have to do is now create our stream. So we're going to go up into scene collection. We're going to create a new one and we're going to call this react and I'm going to click OK. So now we have our first scene. What I'm going to do is right click and rename this. I'm going to call it main and boom. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add a camera to this scene. So we'll go here. We'll go to video capture device. Call this cam. Click OK. Drop this down. Select the camera we're going to be using. And then I want to go ahead and use a custom audio device and select the proper microphone. All set. So now we have a camera in here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and create a React one scene and we're going to click OK. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. So I can just click this plus and I can load in the video that I want to react to. So let's go to media source and let's call this uh, video one because we may be reacting to multiple videos at one time. For this particular style, you're going to have your videos already downloaded on your computer. So you're just going to browse to the video that you want to use. There we go. In this case, I don't want it to loop. So I'm not going to select that and we're going to just click OK. And you can see as long as this video is selected, we can actually pause it. We can move through it and that's going to become important in a minute. Now we're going to add our camera and we can do this in a couple of different ways, but I don't like to take up a lot of the screen if I'm doing a reaction video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to use a simple plugin called the source clone. And there is a link in the description down below. It's a really simple plugin. What this allows you to do is create a second cam. So I'm going to call this this clone cam and it's going to use my original camera right so if you look here the clone type is a source and that source is going to be our cam we want to use the audio and we're going to click OK so now we've got our camera in here but we can modify it so I can right click on here and I can go into filters and I can click the plus and I can add the simple Nvidia background removal is it perfect 
No, not even almost, but it's gonna work for a reaction video. And then I'm gonna click close. And so now we are in front of our screen. We can move us wherever we want. So now we've got our main and you can see that our background is not removed in our main. It's perfect. So we can introduce our live stream and then we can jump right over into the reaction and we can pause this, move it around, do whatever we want. Now, if we wanna go even further, we can use a plugin like the draw plugin. So I can just go ahead into our docs, and bring that down. I'll leave a link in the description to this plugin. It's very, very simple to use. And what this allows us to do is annotate on our screen. I can go over here and do something like this and say, hey, look at this, he's really bouncy, whatever. The point is I can make commentary about it. I can pause the video, I can do this, and then I can just click here and erase it. So the draw tool is awesome for doing reaction content. And then the last thing that we can do is spice this up a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is go to React 1, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna duplicate React 1 and we'll make it React 2, click OK. And now what I can do is I can take my uh, clone cam and move it over here, you know, boom. So now we've got React 1, React 2, our camera moves. Now go over here and use our third plugin. This one is gonna be the move transition. So I can click the plus and select move. There's a link to this in the description as well. And I don't have to change anything. Boom, I'm done. I can now, look at that. I'll just slide back and forth if I select different ones of these. And so now we've got a little bit of variety in the way that our stuff looks. Maybe we're not gonna do a video that's physically on the computer. That's fine. So let's go ahead and add another scene. Let's call it React Web 1. And we're gonna click OK. And I'm just gonna move this down to the bottom. And then I'm gonna click the plus. I can either do a display capture or I can do a window capture. So let's do a window capture. Select window capture, click OK. And I'm gonna select a window to capture, right? So we're gonna come in here and I wanna select this Chrome window right there. And now I'm gonna click OK. What I can do is open up that Chrome window. I can select any one of these videos and give it the full screen treatment. And then I can go into OBS and you can see we've got the full screen treatment. I can play that video. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click the plus and I'm gonna go to our source clone. I'm gonna select the same source clone, right? The one we already created. Boom, look at that. I'm on the screen already. Just bring it down here. We can go and select the React Web, right click and go to duplicate and we can do this, okay and I can move me over here. So now you're gonna see when we move back and forth, we move back and forth, right? So the one thing you're gonna notice here is when I play this video, there's no audio for the video. So we gotta fix that. Go into our React One web, click the plus. We're gonna go to application audio capture. We're gonna call this web audio, click okay. Select the window, which is this one right here, right? And we're gonna click okay. And we've gotta do the same thing here because we uh, duplicated it. So we gotta add that and then we're gonna use the existing, the web audio, boom. So now when we play this, you can see we're getting the web audio. So we can adjust that audio, we can do whatever. We're gonna to have to obviously play the video over here, get it kicking and get it playing, but we can also pause those videos, right? And I can do a little uh, drawing on the screen, all that sort of stuff. We can erase it up. We can select different things. Maybe we wanna do the pencil and we wanna play this little game right there. Boom, we can annotate it, we could talk about it, we could do whatever, everything on this screen is being broadcast to the audience. That's how easy it is to set up a very simple React stream, or you can easily record these sessions, edit them up, and make them into something really special for pre-recorded content. Now I told you it was easy, but there are a few things you should know about reaction content. And the first one being, if you're going to do reaction content, this is not an excuse for you to watch every episode of Friends and make an off comment here and there once in a while. If you're going to do it, especially if you're gonna talk about copywritten material, you have to make it transformative. In other words, you have to pause the video, talk about things that strike you as interesting. Either way, you have to transform that content into something that's new and fresh. You can't just watch someone else's content and occasionally make a comment about it. That's not how it works and you will get content strikes if that's what you're going to do. Secondly, it's really easy to just copy what everyone else is doing, but I would definitely encourage you to make your reaction content something unique and interesting. Maybe just choose a different type of content to react to, something like that. But if you're gonna do the same thing as what everyone else is doing, 
I'm pretty sure you're going to have poor results. So be transformative, be interesting, be funny, be exciting, be controversial, but be different and you're probably going to get seen. Now, if you want to see me do this video for vertical format, if you're going to do something like TikTok, let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you want to see videos on some of the plugins that I added in today, well, here's a couple right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.